How can uh, Israel uh, or the Jews uh, rule the world? Uh, that is, uh, take over the U.S. Uh, if China is the second largest uh, economy uh, now in the world, it is the Jews who wants to rule the world. The false Messiah, and he's taking the Jews for a ride. And it's the last ride on which they ever go. Most of them, unfortunately, have eyes and yet cannot see. So just like most Muslims as well, they have eyes and yet cannot see. He wants to rule the world. And he wants to rule the world and then hand over that rule to the Jews, meaning to the state of Israel, not to those Jews who oppose Israel. The most important part of his plan was disclosed to us when Allah sent down the last revelation. Nabi Muhammad is at Arafat and he gives the khutbatul wida. Then Allah sent down revelation to say the job is finished, the religion, religion is perfected. So we thought now it's finished. اليوم أكملت لكم اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأدممت عليكم نعمتي. But no, he returns to Medina and he has eighty-one days left in his life, and Allah sends down one more revelation. And he sends it down so close to the moment of death of Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam that Umar radiyallahu taala had to. We didn't get time to question him on it. What was the last revelation? The last revelation was on Dajjal's master plan to rule the world. It's riba. Riba. And in riba, one component of riba, the, first, the second one is the banking system. But the first one is the monetary system. What is money? And they have already achieved it. Yes. All that now remains is to get rid of all of these national currencies and India is leading the pack. India. India demonetized the 1,000 Indian rupee and the 500 Indian rupee note, was it last year? And caused so much destruction in India, so much trouble. The European Union is demonetizing the 500 euro note, or maybe they've already demonetized it. And around the world now, they're demonetizing the big notes. And uh, if you travel by air sometimes, and you want to buy a bottle of water, you can't, pay with, you can't buy it with money. No. No cash. <laughs> We're moving away. We are moving away from these currencies to what is called and proclaimed as a cashless world. And they call that progress. They call that progress. But if you were faithful to the truth which came in the Quran, you would understand that the, the rope is tightening around your neck. And they will soon come with one universal currency for all of mankind. Mm -hmm. Of course, it will be electronic and be controlled by one central bank. So goodbye to state sovereignty. <laughs> eh? Goodbye to state sovereignty. Which is why they are inundating Europe with refugees today. That's why they are inundating Europe with millions of refugees today. Because state sovereignty has to go. Nationalism has to go. It is one world society coming and one world government and one currency. And that one currency for all of mankind is slavery for us. So it's not a question of how are they going to establish their rule over the world. They have already done it while the scholars of Islam were sleeping. You have to excuse my anger. Oh yes, those of you who know me, 
would know that I have been even here in Malaysia for 20, 25 years now. So if I show some anger, you have to excuse me.